In this video, we're trying to find the necessary height of a water tower in order to generate 40 pounds per square inch of pressure at the bottom. So one really good point about this problem is that the shape of a container has nothing to do with the pressure at a particular depth. It's only the depth. So in a sense, we're looking at a really complicated shaped container. We have the water tower itself. That's not so complicated. But then we have some kind of pipes running underground to this house over here. All right, so now the, the shape of the container is getting quite complicated. And it doesn't matter how wild it is. All that matters is the vertical drop as you go from the surface of the water to the point that you're measuring the pressure. And we're calling that a height of H. So let's get a couple things done first. Um, PSI is not an SI unit. And so I want to convert that real quick. So 40 PSI, and it looks like that's... 6,895 pascals for every PSI. When I do that multiplication, I get 2.758 times 10 to the fifth pascals. Just a reminder of how small pascals really are. And then we're talking about gauge pressure. So I look at my formula for the gauge pressure at a depth of H in a fluid. So that'd be like a rho GH, where rho is the density of water, which I was reminded of. In the problem and I'm trying to solve for H here because I'm interested in generating a particular pressure that I already solved for so H is going to be the pressure over Rho times G so 2.758 times 10 to the fifth Pascals over 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter the density of water is 9.8 meters per second squared acceleration of gravity near the surface of the earth and when I crunch the numbers on this I get 28.1 meters for the required height of the water tower now you may have wondered in the past why water towers exist and it's mostly in small towns or other situations where a community is off the main water grid and the point here is that you can temporarily use a pump to move water all the way up into this water tower. After that, you can turn off the pump and you've automatically got your desired pressure at, at the faucet. 40 PSI is pretty reasonable without having to expend the energy of running pumps constantly. In a major city, my guess is that the system is just always charged with pumps because there's constant demand for water. So in any case, we figured out what we have to do to design a water tower that produces desirable water pressure in people's houses. Next time you run into a water tower, this 28 meters is about 100 feet. Look up at the thing and, and see if it's about 100 feet high. 